All right, so a little bit of good news, at least from my perspective. Um, I've seen stories about this, and I've seen um, uh, this guy's uh, books uh, being advertised. I think I bought it. I haven't read it yet, but I've, I've bought the book. And then there's this idea that we now have the technology to at least make mice um, be younger. Uh, that is, at least certain organs within the mouse. So uh, this, uh, this scientist by the name of Sinclair at Harvard um, says we, 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 now, we know that when we reverse the age of an organ like the brain in a mouse, the disease of aging then go away. That is, disease of aging related to the brain. Memory comes back. There is no more dementia. Uh, if you do that in muscles, muscle capabilities. So uh, the way he frames it, uh, aging is the fundamental disease, the underlying disease that really facilitates or makes possible all other diseases. So cancer is a disease of aging. Dementia is a disease of aging. Many, uh, you know, heart disease is a disease of aging. Uh, these are not diseases suffered by the young. These are diseases that are, that are, that are that as our uh, cells, as our bodies age, uh, they become susceptible to. If we can reverse uh, this, the process uh, of aging, if we can uh, revitalize the cells in the various uh, parts of the body, uh, we can get rid of disease. And uh, we could get rid of the, fa of, of the things that kill us. So in his lab, um, we had two mice. Um, one, uh, one mouse is uh, the same age, you know, uh, uh, in terms of uh, the clock, I guess. But one mouse is the picture of youth, and one mouse is gray and feeble. The brother and sister, they're born in the same litter, so they're twins in a sense. And the only difference is that one's genes were altered to age faster. So they age faster. Now, the argument he makes is if you can alter the genes to make them go faster, to age faster, why can't you alter them to age slower? But more than that, in 2007, a Japanese scientist by the name of Dr. Shinya Yama, Yamanaka managed to reprogram human adult skin cells to behave like embryonic or pluro, plu, pluri, pluripotent stem cells. In other words, they were capable of developing into any cell in the body. In other words, in a sense, he made them young again. He made them so that they started over. He won the Nobel Prize for that discovery. Now, uh, the problem was when you switch back, uh, when, you, when you did this to cells, they lost their identity. Some muscle cells became blank cells that could be, become anything. And the real challenge is to turn a muscle cell into an embryonic cell that's going to turn into a muscle cell. So, and that is what they've now uh, succeeded in doing. In a study published in 2016, and I'm reading from a story in uh, CNN of all places. Um, in a study published in 2016 by researchers at Salk Institute in La Jolla, California, um, they showed that you could reduce the sign of aging, it could be expunged uh, in genetically aged mice that were exposed for a short time to the factors Yamanaka discovered can do, to, can cause the cell to reverse, to, to become a stem cell, basically. And they could do this without erasing the cell's identity. Now, the problem with what they did in 2016 is it turned out that they could do this for a short time, but then the cells became cancerous and, um, and, and created cancer tumors, so of course, that was bad. But what's happened now is that uh, uh, in Sinclair's lab, 
uh, a genetic, geneticist by the name of Yunsheng Lu, obviously Chinese, that's a very Chinese name, um, has managed now to do the same thing without the cancer cell developing, without the harmful effects. So he takes uh, these factors and he puts it into a virus, a, a harmless virus, and he uses the virus to deliver these factors to the cells. In this case, he did it to a, a, a mouse's, uh, an old mouse's eyes. And it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. They switch on. I'm not going to get into the technicalities. I don't really understand them, but they switch on the genes. And it's really cool. The eyes become younger. So you can actually turn certain cells in mice backwards, and backwards in age, and you can make yourself, you can make those cells younger. Um, now the question is, can you do the same thing with human beings? And more than that, can you do the same thing with the whole body? And that's the next step in the research, is not just to take one set of cells, not to tell muscle cells or eye cells or brain cells, but all cells. And can you do that with a body in general? And that's, I guess, the next step to work on with mice. And then the challenge is um, to do it with human beings, to do the research in human beings. I found this interesting um, that uh, Sinclair says that it's going to be years before human trials are finished. I think it's going to be years before they even start. Because they need to, be start, they need to get permission to do the human trials. They need to be done, and it could take years to do them. They need to be finished. They need to be analyzed. If they're safe and successful, they need to be scaled. And all of that needs to go in front of the FDA to get a stamp of approval. And only then will we get this. So here's what, um, Hopper Campbell, you should be mad about. You should be mad about the fact that the technology might exist in your lifetime. Or let me put it differently. The technology is very likely to exist in your lifetime. Maybe it would even exist today, if not for the FDA, if not for the bureaucracy and the risk aversion and the slowness and the, everything else that's associated with the FDA. Whoa, Troy. <laughs> Troy has been on a supportive rampage recently. Thank you, Troy. Really, really, really appreciate that. Takes, that takes us basically to within $36 of a goal. So uh, Troy just gave 500 Australian uh, dollars. Uh, so uh, that's really fantastic. So You know, it's, it's, um, it's exciting, it's amazing, it's depressing that we've created uh, bureaucratic entities to make this science, this technology that will allow us to live for, for a long, long time, so difficult to attain. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.